I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinny Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Woden promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the scene. Repeat, we are at the scene. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's, He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away.
I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Bullshit. my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. I had tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. <laughs> Please! Freeze! NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? 
Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Come on, come on! <sighs> Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. You all right? I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name. Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max, 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Hang on, Vlad. Max! 
I'm coming. Oh, no pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! Pain! Everybody's rushing your fucking pay! My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> What was it you did for a living again? Scout honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted, alternate reality. Noir, York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery. Desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. We need to hit the place now. Pain's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot the kill!
You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pay me done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Drop Max. the weapon. is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max. I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They've been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple, not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Night, it's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD, I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure, I know it, I know it. Wait, oh yeah, 667, <laughs> neighbor of the beast, get it? Yeah, I get it. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. 
She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. Little wonder. It's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. 
Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate. The cleaners. The inner circle. Vinnie Gognitti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <coughs> Jesus! Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. Staying here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them, even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you are going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait. Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. 
unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. fear of losing it, or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. The fun house was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! I was sick and tired of the cleaners speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. I had no choice. I couldn't have waited for Mona. It was Vlad's excuse. Fate. I didn't trust myself. Max. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm here to go ride with the cleaners. I'll let you know when we get where we're going. I can't talk now. I couldn't crack her. I had to crack the case. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk. Quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this- Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. This cleaner stuff's made me think. Didn't you? Hey, there he is. We got him. We got him. No, stop. The room's full of explosives. Stop shooting. Oh, shit. Run. Max, what's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on. Max? Max, what's happening? Max? Max, come in. Can you hear me? Max? Max, answer me, Max! I didn't know what Mona wanted, if it was the same thing I was after. To kill those who were trying to kill her. The bullet, real or imagined, lodged in her head routing her synapses, driving her on. She had arrived to the site while I was inside the condemned building. I don't know what went on with her. 
Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Be that way. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't Go to hell, Max. Bastard. Max? Max, what's happening? Throw the rules out the window. Odds are you'll go that way, too. Max? Max! <clears throat> this hadn't been my first fall in the night. Still, just a prelude to the real deal. Still, a long way to the bottom. There! Come on! Max! Company! Mona, you have to take them out. Buy me time. I couldn't live without her. You're up here. Firing a gun is a binary choice. You either pull the trigger or you don't. Stop! Stop! Wait! Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. As surely as the bullet rips through the victim's flesh, organ, and bone, it shatters the image of the man who presses the trigger. Easy. Back off, Payne. This is what I see when I look back. These moments. Blinding as snow. They kill you. Change you. You die and live again. Remade. No, Mona. Winters! Climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant. I had a dream of my wife. In it, I murdered her for my lover. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. Death. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. I had chosen Mona. It felt like I had lost her. You're a real angel, Max. Martin. 
wife. My baby. I shot them. I buried them under the rose bush in the backyard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She is a murderer. Max, she's after us. She's one of them. Max, Max off, it's your Payne. duty as a detective. Huh. Duty? That's the best you can do. Too late, Max. You are under arrest for murder. I'm doing this for you, Max. A bullet in the head. I can end the pain. Amidst the wreckage of your own making, do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? This is your final warning. We have surrounded the building. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. All units are in position. We are ready to go. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. Okay, people. Get ready to go in. We are gonna hit the place. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. hospital earlier tonight. I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose. How you feel. I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough. Too long. The cleaning company commandos were coming for me. I needed a gun. I needed to get past them. Hope the painkillers were enough to keep me on my feet. Bravoro was too stubborn to die. I had to buy him time, draw the commandos after me, get out of the hospital. At the construction site, I had been ready to give myself in. There would have been no answers, no second chance. Nothing would be fixed. I had to solve the case on my own. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye, felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path, recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. 
I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. The architecture of Alfred Woden's manor had its origins in European darkness along with the inner circle. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs? Next question. Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. I left Woden at the door of his panic room. By talking of fate, Vlad had been asking for my blessing to his plan to murder me. I've been keeping to the backbeat, reacting to Vlad's moves, cleaning up after him. No more. Vlad and Mona were on a crash course. If I'd find one, the odds were I'd find the other. Vlad was after Vinny. He had left me a map to follow. You have one new message. Vlad, it's me. Where are you? I need you. I'm on my way to the construction site now. Winterson? I'll do it. I'll take care of them both for you. I don't know. Is this a crime? Is it against the law to be happy? They haven't seen you with my boy. Haven't seen you with me. Miss you. Call me. The gilding on the mask had cracked to reveal the rot underneath. Winterson's confession didn't wash away my guilt. It made me feel worse. I had a meeting scheduled with Vlad at Vinny's place. More cleaners! Waste them! Get them before they get out! Where the hell have you been? What took you so long? Where's the rest of you? You're the reinforcements Vinny promised us, right? Who else? Only it's just me. The cleaners got the rest. God damn it, they're killing us like flies! I guess one extra gun's better than nothing. Okay, let's go! Now it's ruined! Oh no! No way! No, Pain, not you! Why does this keep happening to me? Pain, you gotta help me! There's a freaking bomb in here! If I take the head off, it blows! Bye bye, Vinny! You're a freaking cop! You gotta help me! How did this happen? The Russian tricked me! Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. Acknowledge. They're coming to kill me! You gotta protect me. We gotta get out of here. Through the backyard. I didn't buy Vinny's promise to help me. But I was willing to do anything to complicate Vlad's plans. Pain! Cover me! Cover me! We gotta get through there! Let's go, Pain! Let's go!
Well, that was fun. In a fucking terrible, sick, not at all fun way. But then you needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian. She's part of the same fucking crew. You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the funhouse. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. She came to get me through the fire. Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. Max. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Max. Come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe. Blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective. Tied to time and place. Love and friendship. Life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Wintersome. <laughs> In the dream, I was an invisible ghost, hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. A crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who could solve it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. Six milligrams. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Go again. Three hundred. Three hundred. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Doctor, again, once more, 350, charge. Clear.
Clear! Clear! Still nothing! Lost him. Time of death, 2.30 a.m. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you gonna do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> Don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards, when you ask why me, and what if, when you look back see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you, it would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! Mona! Max, I'm going in. I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor. You take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! Clay, dearest of all my friends, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the Gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. 
We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. It's Saxon Payne. They're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case. Dead end. Damn it. Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Wood. Vlad had told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved a fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one! <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. Don't worry, Max. I haven't forgotten you. to be the hero. chances to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love, darkness waiting in the hole of your mouth. We 
we are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here, this way, there! You see? Oh my God. Got a live one here! Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. <laughs>